previously on Future Pilot 901. Two lessons ago, when my circuit session got cancelled, my instructor gave me a list of things to do before I could go on my first solo. So this year, that was my big goal, to go first solo. It's the first time you get to taxi onto the runway without your instructor sitting next to you to give you tips on the flight or to be your safety net. Here we go. I'm happy to go around on this one. I don't feel stabilised. Engine failure. Hey, well done. Thank you. Chill out, mate. <laughs> Wheel 08 is above one, we'd like to backtrack to the ORP. Wheel 08, Roger, there's nothing to that backtrack. Wait. Wheel 08, holding position, traffic in sight. Wheel 08, yes. That's why you don't just take their word for it. Grab okay, so let's backtrack now. Traffic in sight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Traffic ahead of me in the circuit. The original plan was to taxi from Bravo 1 to the ORP to do our power checks and make sure the plane is working just right before taking off into the circuit. And another. Yeah. That day was so busy around the airfield that we could barely get an opening so we decided to do our power checks at Bravo 1 instead and then proceed to the runway to take off into the circuit. Despite the fact that it was crazy busy. I was super, super focused on my mission. I only had three things to get done before I could get on my first solo. And those three things were to do a go around, a power off approach, and then also engine failure on takeoff. Tell me, Roger. Oh, it's all right, Roger. Roger, uh, uh, Roger. Roger, Roger. Roger, I've got the uh, Cherokee going around and the Jet Provost to vacate at the northern end. Surface wind 3208. Oh, it's all right, take off. Goes to the floor. Go on, one. Charlie Delta, ready as well. Hey, son. Two. Roger, the Cessna getting airborne 3108. Got Charlie Delta. Now set. 50 knots. 55 rotating. Roger, Charlie Delta, ready as well. Hey, son. The first two circuits were just standard circuits. I was flying with a different instructor than usual, so I was keen to show him that my general handling was on point. That first circuit was really quiet. So next time, hopefully he trusts me a bit more to let me do it. <laughs> Just let me fly the damn plane, bro. Especially if you're working towards your first solo, what you want your instructor to be doing is absolutely nothing because they can see that they don't need to step in because you've got it, which gives them more confidence to let you go solo. So I was off to a great start. Coming in for my second landing, I was way, way off the center line. That was a good point. Yeah. I'm happy to go around on this one. Why is that? Uh, because I'm not happy. I don't Shoot feel stabilized. Good decision. Roger, thanks. Uh, Roger, thanks. Our peak. Power. Two Lillian overhead. And... Two Lillian, Roger. Positive. Well, it's right, going around. It just didn't make sense to try and squeeze the landing out. Now on one hand that might seem like a failure because my approach wasn't quite right, but really it shows the instructor that I was willing to take the safer option. One of the things I really like about this instructor is he's got a way of catching me off guard. So when I least expected it, traffic inside. Engine failure. He pulled the power out to simulate engine failure. Oh, it's alright. Uh, glide approach. Uh, come to one ahead. Uh, 
grilled, zero, eight, roger. Extra. Off. I'm not, I'm not actually gonna do it. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, yeah, I'm good for Uh, mags would go off. Yeah. I'd rather be higher than lower. I'm gonna dump, bring it back. Charlie Kilo's tacking down to Bravo 1. The flaps change the shape of the wing and allow me to increase my rate of descent. I was so worried about being too low that I brought the flaps in a bit too late which put me quite high on the final. But because of the length of the runway I was never really in trouble. Ahead of me there was traffic taking a little while to vacate so in the end my instructor said Go around. Water 8 going around. Elite. And. This was only practice, but it really got my attention, and I knew we were not finished. That was a nice bit handle, though, but just bear in mind what you glide distance is. It glides further than you think, doesn't it? It does. So, 600 feet, you can do your after take off checks. Engine failure. Field's alright. Span stop record one right. Uh, okay. Field. I'm looking at that field there, so. I don't know if that was blocked, but wheels are right, fun stop. Mixture. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Go, Go around. Going around. I'll be gone. Field's alright. Climbing away. Field's alright, Roger. Yeah, well done. Thank you. Very well done. <laughs> Once the instructor was happy, we came back in for a landing. Okay, and a Q&H of 1024. 1024 and 02, two left hand, gold down the right here. That was nice. I control. You control. When he took control of the aircraft, I thought, that's a bit weird. Because usually I get to taxi back, so I knew something was going to be different. And then he said, Okay, how are you feeling? Feeling good? Good. You gotta go solo. Okay. <laughs> Student Will08 is ready for departure. We are off. Student Will08, the surface wind is 330 at 9 knots. We've got one to vacate. Student Will 08. Charlie Kilo is the right base to get out to land. Yeah. <laughs> Student Will 08, man, it takes and well done.